everyone, this is Brooke. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I first want to say Merry Christmas to everyone that celebrates. I hope you're having a great day coming to you on Christmas morning because I couldn't stay away. I missed last Christmas, so I definitely wanted to come on camera and give you a video for this year. I am dressed up in my ugly Christmas sweater. Um, it's got ugly stuff on it, but most importantly, it's got pink. <laughs> so that's great. Let's just have a good old chat while we talk about the things that I've been loving in 2018. So we're going to talk about a few um, random things. We're going to talk a little bit about skincare. I have makeup, fragrance, and Louis Vuitton. So let's get into it. So the first thing I've been loving are my Apple AirPods, and these are just a tiny little thing. Actually, they don't have a tiny little price, but they're worth the money, I think. You've all seen them. They're like little ear earbuds that don't have the cord, and I think they're perfect. Uh, they fit in my ear, and they don't come out until I take them out, and it's just great, a uh, nice, discreet way to listen to your music or talk on the phone. Um, this is perfect for me at the gym so I don't have cords hanging from me and my phone when I want to um, do cardio or lift weights. And then also it's great at the job so that I can listen to music in my office without bothering everybody. So these are my Apple AirPods and I love them. The next thing on my list is kind of techy as well because you definitely need your phone or some kind of device in order to use it. And what I'm talking about is Audible. I love Audible. For those of you who don't know, it's a subscription service to listen to audio books. They have the largest amount of audio books available in the world, and I listen to books all the time. I am constantly listening to fiction and business books to help me with my job. Um, I just can't speak highly enough of it. I will put a link down below. I am an affiliate, so if you do want to sign up for Audible and get a free 30-day membership and a free book to listen to, definitely use my code if you don't mind. I would definitely appreciate that. And Audible, I listen to so many books, but Audible is definitely a wonderful thing that I've been uh, loving in 2018. Okay, so those were the techie gadgety things. Next on my list is skincare. And the thing I've been loving the most with skincare, even though I've been really lazy this year, is this. These are makeup remover cloths and they are wonderful. I love these. I got these from Ulta and they're super soft. And I've also received a couple of pair from the dollar store that were really good too. And um, what you do is just wet this with warm water, wipe your whole face. You can get off your mascara, your eyeliner, all your eyeshadow, foundation, lipstick, everything comes off with this. And these, the ones from Ulta, one side is exfoliating and one side is just um, to, to wipe it off. And um, they're really, really good. And the thing I like most about these is that they wash up in the laundry and come out just as clean as you know they started and it's much better so you don't have to use all those wipes I used to use tons of makeup wipes but now mostly I just use this and it gets off all my makeup and it's reusable and that's all good so makeup remover cloths are definitely on my list of two of top products in 2018 next is makeup and the Probably the most used out of everything here would be this guy. It is the Lancome Dual Finish Powder Foundation, and I wear the color 460 Suede W. It looks like this in the pan, and this has to be my third or fourth uh, pan th through this year because I was going through a phase where all I did was wear powder foundation, and that got me through, um, i say, at least three quarters of the year, it was really easy to quick go, put the powder on and, and put my blush on and just go for the day. So that's what I did. But now I want a little more coverage. So I'm using a liquid foundation. But this one is a really good buildable coverage foundation powder. So if you don't like the feel of liquid foundation, definitely give this one a try. 
This is really, really good. And the next item of makeup is more recent to my collection, and it is the Tarte Shape Tape. I bought this little um, kind of like deluxe size of it recently and burned through the whole thing. There is actually nothing in here. So I recently hauled um, this from Ulta. It is the full size and I'm in the color Deep and it is some good stuff, guys. But this is really nice. It's extremely creamy and full coverage. So I really do like this. It's gentle under my under eyes and it doesn't do a lot of cracking or leave a lot of fine lines. So Tarte Shape Tape in Deep. The next thing that I've been loving for makeup is this blush by Milani. It is the powder blush in Romantic Rose and it looks like this. It is a beautiful um, matte, natural, um, nude kind of color on me. It, you wouldn't think it would show up, but it does give me kind of like a really nice natural glow when I wear it. Um, I've worn it uh, a lot this year. Um, it's been my go-to blush, and on most days I feel like just going um, with something, a simple look or a no makeup makeup look, and this really does the trick for me. So I, um, I've been loving this one. And to go with that, also by Milani, I've been wearing their highlighter. So this is the Strobe Light, and, and the color Glowing, I guess. And it's number four, and it looks like this. And it is really beautiful. I have been wearing it a ton. Um, it's on the top of my highlighter pile, and so I reach for it more than anything. And I um, even have a full-size backup of it because I was in the store, I loved it. I didn't realize I had it already because I couldn't remember the color number, and so I bought it, so now I have two. So I won't be running out of this anytime soon, and that makes me so very happy. As for lips, I've been loving Buxom Lip Gloss. Most days I wear some color on my lips, but if I don't feel like wearing a full-on color, I will definitely reach for my Buxom Lip Gloss. And I just love the way they smell. They have that kind of vanilla smell, and they also tingle. And I, I really love that tingle action. Um, they do plump your lips a little bit, so if you are not interested in that, don't wear it. But um, when they go on, they have that nice, that nice fresh tingle to your lips that makes them kind of, you know, not sting, but it's, it's just a really good sensation to me. I, I really like it. They last for a long time and they hydrate your lips forever. So I put this on in the morning and then by the afternoon, my lips still feel like there has been gloss or something moisturizing them. So they're really good with that. And then the colors are beautiful. You'll have to check those out, especially if you like frosty shades or uh, they do have some creamier shades too, but you know me, I like the sparkle. So um, this one is in the color uh, Gabby. And this one I have right here, and it's almost empty. You can see it's in the color Star. And they're both really pretty. Okay, so the next thing is lipstick. And I have been loving the Chanel lipstick that I got this summer. It is uh, called Rouge Coco Shine. That's the, that's the line. And the number is 128, which is Noir Modern. And the packaging looks like this. It's got the CCs on the end. And then... Um, you know, just a black tube with a gold band. And this is what it looks like. It's a nice, deep looking color on there, but when you swatch it, or when I swatch it, it looks more of a, a berry. Let's see if I can get that in there. Berry color. It's got a very good shine to it, and it's not extremely opaque so it's very forgiving if you want to put it on and then fix it up a little bit I just really liked it it was great in the summertime it's great for keeping your lips hydrated and it's uh, Chanel and it's it's really nice so this stayed in my purse most of the year and um, I, I really did love that too Okay, next is fragrance, and I have three to show you. The first one I want to show you is this one by Tiffany. It is a Tiffany fragrance, and it is amazing. It has a nice, oh gosh, it's florally and fresh, but there's still a little bit of sweetness underneath there. 
not exactly sure what it what what it is, but it's like citrusy and florally. It's fresh. It's the most. It's like I don't really like fresh fresh stuff, but this has a little bit of sultriness to it that makes it work for me. And the bottle is gorgeous. It was my Christmas present from Brett last year, and it came in a big blue Tiffany box, and it was it was so pretty. But the Tiffany and Co fragrance, if you haven't smelled it already. I think it would it would go very well day and night, and it's great for everyone. So definitely give that one a little test if you can. That's the Tiffany fragrance. Then I want to talk about this one. It's the Good Girl. If you see that, it's the Good Girl fragrance by Carolina Herrera, and it is wonderful as well. The heel comes off. See, they call this Good Girl, but doesn't that look like something a bad girl would wear? But that's just me. Anyway, the heel comes off and that's how I display the fragrance for the one ounce size bottle. And oh, it smells so good too. It's kind of got like a little bit of a metallic smell to it. And it's musky and really rich. It's got um, something that, you know, I, I wear it in the day and the night, but it definitely has like a nighttime smell to it. I don't know if it's a sweet flower or what, but it does have a little hint of sweetness and that's what attracts me to fragrance. And um, this one is a really, really good one. Um, my girlfriend was wearing it <laughs> and I smelled it on her and I'm like, are you wearing good girl? And she's, yes. Um, and I could, I could pick that one out because it is a really good one. And I wear this one a lot. Okay, so the last fragrance I want to show you is this one by Victor and Rolf, and I love it. It's called Bone Bone, and it smells divine. If you like their uh, original fragrance, what is that one called? It's called um, Flower Bomb. If you like Flower Bomb, you might like this one too. This one's definitely sweeter. It's the sweetest of the three I'm showing you right now. And it's like a kind of got a gourmand um, candy scent to it. And, and it's really, just really good. I wear this one mostly in the daytime if you're interested. And it does last all day long. Um, it's a really beautiful bottle. Actually, all three of them are very attractive packaging to me. And um, this one is really good and I love it. So I don't know what else to say about fragrance. It's just like, it smells good and I love it. It lasts a long time and I believe it would smell very nice on everybody because it's just got that rich scent that I think would blend into your body chemistry and um, just enhance the way, you know, it smells on you. So give it a try. Definitely go to the uh, store and test it out if you want to. So jewelry wise, I have two things to show you. Uh, they're both bracelets. This one I've worn practically every day and it is my uh, Louis Vuitton nanogram bracelet. I don't know if it's picking up the details in there, but it is a really, really pretty bracelet. It's in the silver tone with the gold hardware detail. It features the, the LV and the monogram uh, imprint all around it if you can't see it. But I wear this all all the time. It's usually, um, well, it's always on my, my right wrist. And I pair it with, almost always, a uh, Hermes Click H bracelet. This one's in black with the silver hardware. And um, I, I love it too. I usually stack them together like this. And it looks great on my wrist. And I love the weight and the way it feels. But I have the black one and I have two or three pink uh, Click H bracelets and I rotate with them, but mostly it's been the black and I've just been loving it lately. So this is a really good deal for me and um, I think I'm going to go back to Hermes and see if they've got any more. I hear they've got another pink one, so I'll definitely give that a try. Um, but those were that was my jewelry. Um, other than like this, um, my Venetian necklace and my Venetian bracelet by Tiffany, I wear those every day too. Okay, so moving right along into Louis Vuitton, I want to show you what I've been loving there this year. And uh, one thing I want to point out is something that most people sleep on, and it is this guy. It is the pocket uh, organizer, and it is in monogram, and it looks like this. And it's got 
lots of little flaps and card holders and I use this when I carry my pochette accessories bags or smaller purses. It's it's great. Uh, it can hold a ton so there's a, a flap back here, um, one here, here, three card slots, a, f a little pocket right there that another card could fit in, and um, like this envelope style pocket right here that you could fit one or two cards in. So it holds a lot and then you know you could put your cash in there and it's it's great for something when you want to just throw something in your pocket or throw something in a tiny bag or a clutch this is the way to go. So this is the pocket organizer by Louis Vuitton. The other thing and it goes with a the theme for me I've been downsizing my purse strategy a lot this year and if I wasn't carrying this wallet as a wallet, I was carrying this as a wallet. And this is the Zippy coin purse. And I'm actually using it right now, so it's full with stuff. And um, it holds a lot. It holds tons of cards. Your cash, you know, can be folded up in the middle there. And, um, you know, just lots of rewards cards, credit cards. Um, you know, my license is in there. Lots of stuff is in there. So this is a simple little guy, nothing going on on the outside, but um, zips all the way around and holds everything secure. And um, you're really good to go. So these have been my go-to SLGs for the year, and I've really loved them. Now as far as purses go, I just wanna highlight this, and it is my pochette accessories bag. I have been using the Azure one and the Monogram one the most. Um, the Azura one obviously I wore in the spring and summer and the monogram one I wore kind of like um, a rest of the time, but I love these little bags. I can fit a ton in there, all my essentials, and I use them as purses. And I love it for going to festivals or picnics or things like that in the summertime when you don't want to take a big bag. And like I said, I did downsize a lot this year. And um, they're great for work too, so you don't have to have a, a big bag you know, like under your desk or in a drawer. You can have this and it just fits everywhere. So this has been my go-to, one of my go-to purses. And um, I'll talk more about this later in my um, upcoming upcoming handbag uh, collection video. The last item I want to show you as part of my top 18 items for 2018 is this one. This is the Pochette Matisse in monogram. I also have it in the black empreinte leather and the pink empreinte leather, but I think the monogram right now is my favorite because it's so versatile and you know how much I love monogram. It is a great bag, it's a great size, I've talked about it a lot before and you've seen tons of videos on this. If you have it, great, I'm sure you love it. But if you don't, you might wanna to try to get your hands on this guy because it is versatile. If you're downsizing like I did, you can still fit a lot, but also have a nice shoulder bag that you can keep your hands free. You can use it crossbody. Just lots of things are really nice about it. And I think you'll love it and I love it. And that's why it made my top. 18 items of 2018. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, a wonderful Happy Holiday season, and I will be back very soon with another video. Until then, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. I'd love to have you as part of the Pink to Paris family, and we can start off the new year together. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.